What's up YouTube? It's Shauna. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my hair care routine plus like tips and tricks on how to grow your hair out and how to keep it healthy. So I've been recently getting compliments and questions on my hair and how I grew it out so fast and how I keep it healthy and thick and yeah so I thought I would share with you guys all of my secrets I guess um, in my hair care routine so I'll just get started so a little bit of background on my hair it is dyed quite a few times I haven't cut it in the past year it's up to about my belly button if you can see um, I have really thick hair but it is getting thicker and yeah that's about it I, it's pretty frizzy too so yeah so first I'm going to start off with what I do in the shower um, I use the mane and tail shampoo and conditioner and this stuff works wonders I cannot tell you how much I love this stuff in like within the first use I already started like feeling how softer my hair was and how how thick it was it just it was so nice and I definitely love this stuff also with these shampoo and conditioners I don't remember if I got it at Walmart or Target but you can't find it in the hair care aisle it is in the pet section because it is used for not only humans but horses and that's how they get like the thick mane and stuff so yeah I swear by this stuff it helped my hair so much and it smells really good too like I I actually really like the smell of this stuff so you're not gonna smell like an animal don't worry and it actually makes my hair appear a lot more straight I've noticed like I haven't done anything to my hair I mean the inside is a little bit wavy but my hair is all natural and yeah so I really love this stuff I do feel like the those shampoo and conditioner doesn't really cleanse my hair rather than like treat it so in before I do all that, I use the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Keratin Infusing Shampoo. And I mean, it's nothing special, but I mean, it does really make my hair feel like clean. So yeah, I use that too. If I do feel like I need a little bit more of a boost and my hair is fried from using a heat product um, in the shower after my shampoo, I'd use the Enjoy Professional Hair Care Hair Mask and one of my friend's moms gave this to me when I was in a show and I had to dye my hair and curl it every show so my hair was pretty fried and so yeah this really helped a lot so now I'm going to talk a little bit about what I do when I get out of the shower so I usually squeeze out as much water as I can trying not to pull on the tips of my hair so I prevent any breakage and um, then once I get as much water as I can out of my hair then I use a t-shirt to wrap my hair in rather than a towel because a towel promotes frizz when you especially when you rub it up against it um, and you have to try to get to like a hundred percent cotton because that makes your hair to frizz and I have seen a lot of improvement with my hair and my frizz if I do that when I get out of the shower and keep it in until it's about like 75% dry so once my hair is almost dried it's about like 75% dry um, what I do is I take it out of the the t-shirt and I use the not your mother smooth moves frizz control hair cream and it smells like coconuts and goodness and it's I love this stuff. Um, it doesn't work amazingly, but I still use it. Um, protects my hair and stuff. If you want like a better review, check out my June favorites, I believe, and I talked about this a little more. And then after I use that, I just go in with my wet brush and I just comb it through. Um, and um, I like to use a wet brush because. Brushes in general just aren't good for your hair, they just promote breakage and if you can use a comb, but I just, 
I, I can't do it. So now I'm just going to go over a few tips and tricks that I use on a daily basis to help my hair grow. So first of all, drink lots and lots of water. Um, I know I'm really bad at this, but um, it really does help your skin, your nails, and your hair grow a lot better. And um, I do see a difference every day, and it's just it's just healthy for you. So drink water. Um, also, I used to take biotin, and that helped with the growth of my skin, my hair, and my nails. That helped a little bit, but I mean, I didn't see a dramatic difference, so I stopped taking it once I ran out. Also, another big thing is cutting back on heat products. I know I used to use heat products almost every day, and then after one of my shows, my hair just felt so fried, and I just, I just decided to stop using it and I really saw a big difference. I started to see less and less of split ends, which was really great for me because I hate that look of like, I don't know, like crispy ends. <laughs> That's disgusting, but yeah, I, it really does not feel good or look good. So now I cut back to about a week every month. So like seven days spread out or just a whole week. Um, and yeah, I really do see a big difference in my hair, so try not to use heat products when you can. If you're suffering from dry or split ends, I suggest that you use coconut oil or extra virgin olive oil. And what you do is you microwave it for about 10 seconds and then you put it on your ends or all over your hair if you need it. And you keep it in for about 15 to 30 minutes as needed and then you shower as normal and yeah and that works too also if you want to promote hair growth i suggest you use extra virgin olive oil and mix it with ground cinnamon and massage it into your roots for about five minutes and then also shower as usual and you will start to notice that your hair is growing faster. Also, if you want to lock in that moisture after a shower, try and after conditioning, you want to turn on the cold water as much as you can stand it and rinse your, rinse your conditioner out um, because that'll close in the follicles and um, it will leave your hair a lot smoother. Also, try not to wash your hair like crazy. Um, I use a dry shampoo. Also, check out my June favorites for that too. And the more you wash your hair, the more you strip it of its natural oils, and then your hair will stop growing faster. So I try to go at least like three days without washing my hair. Your hair will get used to it. It will seem really oily in the beginning, and then it'll just start to get used to it. Um, so yeah. Alright, so that's all I have for you guys today. I don't know what happened with my lighting or my quality of this video, so I'm really sorry about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe if you did like this video this week. And I will be back next Friday. I'm back on track, guys. So I love you guys so much, and thanks for watching. Bye! It smells so good. It's like, oh, it's like a tropical... And what you do is you microwave it in the microwave.